This is Storytellers and Story Sellers live on tape. You're listening to Vineet Kanabar on the IVM Podcast Network. Today, I am here to scare you. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. We're turning this into a horror podcast. Uh, Khuni Storytellers and Story Sellers is what we're going to call this. <laughs> right? Um, I, I hope not because... Uh, there are a lot of people already being terrified. So we will we'll not try to scare them in this podcast. <laughs> that was the voice of Divya Agrawal uh, from Khuni Monday. From Khuni Monday, yeah. Khuni Monday is, is the channel. But actually from the Mad Virus. From the That's Mad Virus, the, yeah. the uh, awesome content company that you now run that has um, multiple successful uh, IPs and franchises now running. You have a podcast that's scaring the shit out of people. <laughs> you have a YouTube channel that is growing very, very quickly. You have an Instagram channel also, which is growing, but slowly as we talked. Right. Um, they were welcome to Storytellers and Story Sellers. We're so glad to have you. Thank you so much for having me, Vineet. Uh, tell me about Kuni Monday, dude. I mean, and like I was saying before we started recording, a lot of people that I talk to about animated content, um, one of the aversions that they have is, Yar, isko banana bahut mushkil hai. finding okay. the right talent, finding the right um, mix of people to work with, then finding the right story, then finding the, the right style to do it as well. Right? It's a complex business, right? So, first of all, you're doing horror, which is complex anyway. <laughs> then you're doing animation primarily, but also audio, but animation, okay. which is, tell me how this started and how you've gone about really building the team. Got it. So, uh, what exactly happened, Vineet, was uh, one day I was just uh, searching for a good horror story. So, I'm a big, big horror fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was searching for a horror story to listen to uh, some creepy stuff. And uh, uh, when I searched on YouTube, I didn't find any organized channel who's telling horror stories back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so I thought, uh, let's open a YouTube channel. And we should do something in horror story storytelling but uh, just being a a audio only version i think that would not have attracted the audience back then because people were consuming a lot of video content of course uh, so i thought what could be the visual way of doing it obviously you you don't you can't go into shoots of of doing some uh, like so many prosthetics and all are mm -hmm. required mm -hmm. to actually pull off good horror uh, visuals so what we did was, uh, so before uh, uh, starting this channel and before doing my MBA, I was working for a very small company called Should This Endings. Right. And they had a uh, YouTube channel where they were doing movie spoofs. Very successful YouTube very channel. Successful. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the team, uh, so that was the time I actually got uh, acquainted with animators. Right. Because I was sitting with them, I was working on the pre-prod part of it. I was uh, sitting through uh, the whole production of animation that was happening. I learned the steps of what exactly happens when you are creating an animated video. So all those friends uh, from uh, Should They See Endings, I reached out to them. I told them, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's let's do something like that. I think it's 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 going to be a very uh, like it's a very uh, risky experiment like mm -hmm. animation which is which has a cartoony feel to it and doing horror in something like that uh, it's it has never been done in Ind it had never been done in india before right so uh, we we tried it out we thought we'll give it uh, 3 months we'll we'll tell horror stories in animation we'll try so our motive was to scare the audience we wanted to try in uh, match the style of a real character as as uh, much as we could. We don't we didn't want to go into the cartoon cartoonish zone. So that's what we did, and uh, uh, it became a success in one and a half months. So so that's how I, it, I love it. All of it I, started. I love it. I, I love how you, should they see endings was a scary beginning for you. Right? <laughs> that's that's the headline that your PR team should be writing. Um, but jokes apart, I think yeah. what's super interesting there is. Um, what you said, it's never been done in India before. Right. Right. Um, our horror traditions are very Ramsey Brothers. Right. Right. Or it's Bhangar ki kahaniya. Correct. Right. I'm sure those traditions are still very real. Those stories are still very real. But I love how um, creators today are looking at subverting it or adding a flavor to it. Right. Uh, one of my favorite creators is, is Nikesh Murli who does Indian Noir again he yeah. does it in a very international style right so Correct. he's got like Indian stories but an international style right. what would what would you say is your 
guiding principle um, when you come to take these stories up and, and try and create something interesting out of it how do you look at what is the creative philosophy at maybe at uh, at kuni monday so uh, uh, when I, when i talk to cre- when i talk about creative philosophy i guess uh, it it has to do with, with the what i like mm-hmm. and uh, if this story appeals to me i i feel let's let's go ahead and do it it might appeal to the audience as well um so i come from uh, gazabad which is right. like the ncr area and it, it's proper hsm belt uh so all these stories that i've been listening to from my uh, childhood and and there are so many things that uh you hear about chudels or or boots or or pishaches and and all of that right. so i wanted to keep the language very basic and very uh, uh lingo uh, related so that's why you would uh, it's not proper uh, hardcore rooted hindi as well mm-hmm. it's not proper uh, urban english as well it's it's more of a english that we we uh, communicate in the audience it 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 should feel like somebody is just telling you a horror story right so right. that that is how we've approached it in that manner and I- I think there's such a such a nice power to it, right? Like, because I remember, right. I think I remember almost every horror story a friend has ever told me, right? And that's right. how you trade these stories, and, and I love that. I think that serves as a very powerful single line putting there. Like, we wanted it to feel like just a friend is telling you a horror story, which Correct. is just a great way to, way of approaching it. Um, how does it feel now? I mean, I, mean, I know you've right. been doing this a few years now. Right. Uh, how does it feel to have? 3.1 million YouTube subscribers, which is a big number, right? To have an exclusive Spotify podcast as well, um, I think among our first horror origin horror exclusives that we've done, right? I know uh, when I say our, I mean Spotify. Uh, I had nothing to do with this, <laughs> uh, but yeah, how does it feel? I mean, does that give you a lot of validation as creators, or are you like, no, all I care about is audience, platforms, everything else will just follow. Uh, so it it's both uh, way i i guess uh, so when we were working for show desi endings that was uh, in itself a big channel like we had seen those numbers 1 million 1.5 million subscribers back then so the numbers was uh, never a, a, a something that like we've hit this so we are oh wow this is something that has happened for the very first time the feeling was not that and plus uh, coming from uh, a content background like mm. i was working for geo uh for a long time 3 and a half years uh and i was defining the uh the content strategy for platforms like a jio tv or a jio cinema so numbers were never uh, something that uh, appealed a lot to me mm-hmm. but i really felt uh, uh great uh, when uh, uh i saw our youtube subscribers translate into the podcast listeners that we have on spotify right and we started trending number 1 for almost like 4 weeks right oh man so we launched kuni monday maybe i'm guessing about 6 months ago yeah in april in yeah. april right so it's about yeah give or take 6 months and i don't think kuni monday has ever dropped out of the top 10 right in india i, right. I, I mean if right. i may be mistaken maybe it's happened for a day but i'm going to believe that it's not <laughs> uh, because <laughs> i see it i see it on the top 5 top 6 right. every single day absolutely right and, and that's a massive achievement and that that was surprising for us as well like uh, when we launched the the first day was number 12 then we reached to number 2 and then we were number 1 for almost 3 to 4 weeks and it was like uh, mithpat was the top creator and yeah. mithpat mithpat is such a big creator right so uh being number 1 on spotify was yes i would definitely call that validation mm-hmm. and i i was so surprised that i was so surprised that we have such a loyal base right who's who's coming on to spotify and following us there as well so i mean it's a great success story right right it's a great success story for horror it's a great success story for animation it's a great success story for podcasting sure it's a great success story for youtube but youtube has many success stories right right um Let me ask you this: um, How is the the team currently structured, and how are you looking at um, at the business that that you're in? Right, the Mad Virus. I know you are working with a bunch of platforms. Are you also working with brands? How is the team structured? What does that look like? So uh, uh, there is me and my partner Raman, right? Uh, and uh, I look into the original content creation side of things, and Raman is looking into the client side of the services side of things. Uh, he so. so uh, two things one is uh, brands regarding the kuni monday uh, 
what whatever Kuni one day has to do with with brand marketing and all, and the other is the production work that we are doing for different brands. Right. So uh, Raman is taking care of that, the production work, the services side of things, and I am taking care of the entire Kuni one day. Got uh, it. And different original IPs that we are creating or or now have started to build. Got it. And you are bootstrapped. We are bootstrapped, yes. Right, and are you like in the market, looking to raise? Because now is a great time, right? You, you're right. tasting a lot of success. Uh, again, this may be the first place you say this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, are you in the market looking for, like how are you looking at scaling beyond now? See, uh, firstly, we are uh, thinking of how to expand the team. Mm-hmm. So that's a bigger challenge. Find good resources. That that's I think that is the major challenge that we are having right now. He's Divay Agarwal on LinkedIn. Please spam his <laughs> inbox. Bilkul. Go, go ahead and do it. Uh, so that that's definitely uh, the biggest challenge that we are facing right now. Uh, we are not looking out for funding uh, uh, because uh, so I read a very interesting uh, thing that funding is not uh, actually something to celebrate. It's like an obligation, right? So so in India we are we are celebrating fund being funded. In a in a massive massive way, but I which I think should not be the case. अब founder BMW खरीद सकता है ना अब क्या बात कर रहे हैं कैसी बात कर रहे हैं यार जोक से बात anyways यार वो कभी कभी वो वाली चीजें attempt करती हैं बहुत ज़्यादा कि अरे क्या jump start मिला ये क्या कर रहे हैं ये क्या हो रहा है ये क्या office है so all of that happens but we are going slow I guess that's a different ball game altogether like if you going for a funding or anything like that it's a complete strategy shift. We don't want to do that. We want to take it slow. We want to uh, like बड़ी बात हो जाएगी. लेकिन हाँ, Disney अगर बनना है तो धीरे-धीरे अपना pace लेके stepping stones वैसा बनाना पड़ेगा उस उस तरीके से चीजों को. Maybe. बिल्कुल. I have heard a lot of companies want to be Disney. Yeah. Right. But I'm certain that there are the chops to do that uh, with the Mad Virus and Kony Monday. I think I'm going to go into a break. On the other side, we'll talk about uh, Divya, the person, not the storyteller, on the sure. entrepreneur. What your influences were, how you got to um, got to where you got, and what learnings you've uh, accrued along the way. And we will talk about Kunikon. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Go nowhere. We will be back on storytellers and story sellers right after these messages. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Cyrus says Cyrus and Abbas talk to Siddharth Alambayan the popular host of The Bombay Journey. The trio discuss their favorite celebrity interactions and Siddharth's life as a child actor. On Postcards from Nowhere Utsav takes us back in time narrating stories of Punjab and Nagaland during the era of the Mahabharat. On Smarter with Sid Siddharth explains the reasons behind the success of podcaster Chris Williamson. And on Storytellers and Storysellers, Vineet talks to Divay Agarwal, the brain behind popular YouTube channel Kuni Monday. Divay discusses his inspiration behind creating spooky content and building a horror community. Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com. We have some exciting stuff for you. Also, do follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Do remember to spread the word about the shows you're listening to. It would be great if you can rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. You can also check out all our shows on YouTube. Wishing you a very happy Diwali. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Bumble Heads Up for Tales Kotak Privy League program and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thanks for making this possible. And we're back. We took a extended break because Keshav our sound engineer decided to delete <laughs> the files. From the first part of the episode, then we had to call uh, Tejas, who is from the Hogwarts School of Sound <laughs> Editing, <laughs> to come and do magic. And now we have our, our first episode back. So but this has never happened before, right? This has never happened before. It is a Kuni Monday Kuni moment. Kuni Monday thing, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Like a horror story on a podcast. This is what it is. This is, this is what it is. We saved it for you. That's what we've done. We have Keshav to thank. Keshav in the nice. Thank you, Keshav. Shirt. Thank you, Keshav. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Resuming our chat after that scary moment. Um, tell me this, man. I think it takes, and is it true that it takes a, a twisted, dark person to tell horror stories? Uh, what I'm trying to get at is what happened in your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's not a very uh, dark, twisted thing. Uh, yeah. But I used to be super scared. Like I was the person who would watch Ahart, but he would freak out in the night and he could not sleep alone, and probably not sleep 
the entire night right and uh, there was a time uh, i remember in class 4th in class 4th or 5th uh, i was scared at almost every single thing like there was a big tree outside my house shit and uh, i used to see that tree and i used to feel इसमें से कोई निकल के आ जाएगा अभी कोई लटका हुआ होगा जो आ जाएगा कुछ एकदम से आउल निकलेंगे और आ जाएंगे सो आई आई इट वेंट टू दैट लेवल एंड वो जो फैमिली फ्रेंड्स होते हैं ना जो बड़े कजन्स होते हैं वो आपको डराते हैं तो और डराने लगे मुझे बहुत ज्यादा कटा मुंडा है कटा मुंडा है ये है वो है ये है वो है एंड दिस दिस सेंटेंस ना जो बड़ा पॉपुलर है जो डर गया सो मर गया दैट that started echoing in my head when i was like four or like in the fourth or fifth class and uh, that was the time when i decided mar jaunga na bas aur nahi darunga bas ho jayega aur nahi darunga then what i did was i the first step i took was learning hanuman chalisa theek hai hanuman chalisa yaad ki phir uh, indian 1920 ram se brother wali movies dekhi raat mein फिर उसके बाद जो भी आई एम डी बी की टॉप रेटेड हॉरर मूवीज थी वो सारी एग्जॉसिस्ट जितनी भी थी शाइनिंग सब सब बैठ के रात के दो दो बजे अकेले देखी सो एक्सपोजर थेरेपी एक्सपोजर थेरेपी तब तब आया कि अरे नहीं आई कैन लाइक फुल ऑन अभी हॉरर है अब मुझे मजा आने लगा मैं नहीं डरा मैं नहीं मरा मैं नहीं मरा दिस इज दिस इज वेर आई बिलोंग ये मेरा है हॉर सो नाउ आफ्टर दैट वॉट आई डिड वॉज सो अभी मैं क्लास टेंथ इलेवेंथ तक पहुंच गया उसके बाद इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ क्लास के अराउंड आई स्टार्टेड टू गो आउट एंड लाइक विजिट ऑल दीज हॉन्टेड प्लेसेस जो कहते थे जाता था मैं अकेले अकेले भी जाता था ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स के साथ भी जाता था एक्सप्लोर करता था कि क्या है क्या नहीं है डेली कैंट पीर गायब ऑल ऑफ दम ग्रेव यार्ड एज वेल कुछ हुआ नहीं कभी बट द फील द फील रिमेंड राइट एंड थोड़े टाइम बाद समझ आया कि ठीक है लाइक वॉट आई बिलीव इज एनर्जीज होती हैं स्पिरिट्स होती हैं अच्छी बुरी नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव एंड यू शुड लेट इट बी एंड शायद मतलब स्टूडियो में हमारे साथ भी कोई पॉडकास्ट इन्जॉय कर रही हो सो इट कुड बी दैट हाई कोई सो आई वॉन्ट अ रोल इन खोनी मंडे चेकिंग दे मे बी दे आर ऑलरेडी कास्टेड इन मे बी मे बी so uh, so i i started to believe that and uh, that's when uh, i really became uh, fond of horror but ha aisa chul nahi karta main <laughs> kuch aisa oi ja board laga ke apna mombati ke aao bhut aisa kuch nahi so all of that is happening but yeah from this is the journey of uh, how the horror fan in me developed and came into life love it and how did you add the layer of of content understand like i know you worked at geo i know uh, you were at shuddh desi desi endings what did you learn from these experiences that you, you that you've added to what you do today so uh, this happened i think uh, back uh, when i was very young again mm-hmm. so i used to do a lot of skits uh, and uh, lakshman ke lakshman rekha wala jo episode hai usme lakshman no arjun wala swayamvar wala episode ho to wo sab skits wagera chalte rehte the and uh, when do happened i joined a dramsock in right. delhi university drama society and uh, those are like massive time investment and you have to do so much you do street theater you do uh, stage theater i've i've like performed at national school of drama prithvi theater so all of that has that has actually been the core of uh, all my creative understanding and what right. all i write today or what whatever uh, i understand of mm. uh, of uh, storytelling right so that is coming from that and then uh, of course uh, the business side of thing helped me out because uh, i wanted to so ab baniye hai hum log so i come from a middle class family jahan pe job badi important hoti hai right. and aapko paise kamane hai to aapko paise kamane hai so uh, wo creative ka na ekdam se aata nahi hai ki bas tum bombay jao aur actor ban jao ya director ban jao ya writer ban jao wo to sense mein aaye nahi and द थिंग वॉज पढ़ने में ठीक है नाइन्टी परसेंट अब आ जाते थे तो ऐसा भी लगता था कि चलो कुछ बीच का रास्ता ढूंढते हैं तो एडवर्टाइजिंग हो गया या फिर आई एंडेड आई लैंडेड अ जॉब विद हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स तो वहाँ पे आई आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग फॉर देसी मार्टिनी डॉट कॉम विच वॉज अस मूवी रिव्यूज वेबसाइट राइट सो 
आफ्टर इट वाज अ फेसबुक क्लोन व्हेन इट फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड राइट राइट आईएमडीबी को थोड़ा सा हां समझ रहा हूं सो उनके लिए वो स्कूप वूप टाइप आर्टिकल्स लिखना मूवी रिव्यूज लिखना एंड ऑल सो दैट अगेन रिव्यूइंग ऑल दोस मूवीज रियली हेल्प्ड दैट प्रोसेस रियली हेल्प्ड एंड वो बिजनेस साइड चीजें बनने लगी एंड दैट वाज अ टाइम व्हेन नेटफ्लिक्स वाज कमिंग अप विद हाउस ऑफ कार्ड्स ऑरेंज इज द न्यू ब्लैक एंड आई स्टार्टेड टू फिगर आउट कि टीवीएफ जो कर रहा है अभी <laughs> वो बहुत सही कर रहा है एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द फ्यूचर राइट तो मैं जॉब uh, छोड़ के हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स वगैरह छोड़ के बॉम्बे आ गया एंड बॉम्बे में मैंने कहा एक्सपेरिमेंट करेंगे लाइफ के साथ और वही शुद्ध सी एंडिंग्स वॉज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट आई वॉज वर्किंग फॉर देम आई वॉज राइटिंग एड्स फॉर अ स्टार्टअप आई वॉज डूइंग ए डी कहीं पर किसी स्टार्टअप के लिए किसी एड में मतलब वो सब प्रोडक्शन का काम सब सब चीज़ें करी दिस वॉज अलॉन्ग विथ वॉट यू आर डूइंग इन योर डे जॉब राइट 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 तो वैसा ही हो गया था कि मतलब अब वो स्ट्रगल का टाइम था वो जो एक स्ट्रगल को ग्लोरीफाई करते हैं वो आई थिंक वैसा वाला टाइम था चाहिए होता है ना चाहिए होता है चाहिए होता है वो कहानी का पार्ट है तो यही अंधेरी की बरसोवा में वन बी एच के में चार लॉन्डे रहते थे बिना एसी का घर था तो मैं ऑफिस में सोता था एसी में अपना आराम से तो वहाँ पे प्री प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन सब में बैठा रहता था मैं मतलब पूरा वो करता रहता था अपना जो जो जहाँ जहाँ मस्ती हो रही थी हो रहा था ब्रेकअप हो गया था तो लाइफ में वैसे ही सब कुछ लोग जिम जाते हैं तुम प्रोडक्शन ऑफिसर मैं प्रोडक्शन ऑफिस जाता था तो सो ऑल ऑफ दैट हैपेंड एंड तब समझ आया कि थोड़ा अगर आपको बिजनेस साइड जाना है तो शायद एम कर लेना चाहिए एम बी ए करके कुछ और समझ आया बट <laughs> <laughs> उसके बारे में हम नहीं बात करें ओके ठीक है सो दैट हैपेंड एंड आफ्टर माय एम बी आई लैंडेड अ जॉब विद जियो तो वहाँ पे कंटेंट स्ट्रैटेजी ओ के प्लेटफॉर्म्स और क्या कंटेंट खरीदना है क्या ऑडियंस देख रही है एंड सिंस जियो वॉज एट मैसेव स्केल तो आई अंडरस्टूड मास वेल वॉट द मास वॉन्ट्स so i try to implement all those strategies and what we were also doing so that love really it. helped love it i think what you've just described is the process of right. becoming a storyteller and a story seller right that's what you've just described right and it's massively important to do both things correct um even if you're not planning to found a company like you have but to truly understand storytelling you must understand story selling right you Absolutely. must understand why a channel will invest in your show or you must understand why an ott platform will buy this what are their goals who are they serving which what is the audience that they are trying absolutely. to absolutely what is the right price what how, is the right price what how, so jio really taught me how to uh, build uh, or discuss a contract for right. example right so that really helped what are the different pointers what is the license period what is the exclusivity all of that really helped right and i mean i have always enjoyed that part of the business right like correct um i remember my first exposure to to licensing at scale right was a deal that we were doing at tvf when i was at tvf right. we were doing a deal with sony live um the show gulluck was part of the deal the first correct. order of of gulluck and man it is so interesting right like it starts with obviously territory period uh scale of the show etc but if you really go deep right um you can start valuing a show by the number of scenes there are in an episode mm right by how many and these are all parameters that as business Absolutely. guys you're not thinking you're not thinking right? Like, right and when you work with some of these really experienced content business folks right. they're like aapke show mein eight scene hai hamare show mein panch scene hota hai sorry hamare show mein eight scene hai aapke show mein panch scene hota hai is my show is more expensive than yeah. this and like i never thought of it this way correct right? and there's so much to learn right and correct it feeds back into how you're doing storytelling so absolutely and thank you for sharing um your journey i have um always wanted to ask you yeah. what is your vision with with kuni mani right? like there is a a certain degree of success that you've already achieved there is a a massive following i can't even say it's a cult following it's a massive following right like mm-hmm. you got folks tuning in to watch your stuff on youtube then tuning in to listen to it on podcast and then uh, and then some right so you're seeing a dedicated community at scale growing where are you looking at uh, taking this space in the next maybe 5 to 10 years right what to ask you a very, to ask you this question in a very grandiose manner what according to you is the future of horror content uh, and what role does kuni mande play there i think uh... If I have to talk about the horror genre, it's massive because uh, India as a market uh, or globally horror, I feel is good 
horror content is underserved mm-hmm. and uh, india is crazy about bhoots and chudels right so uh, that is that is one part of it like it is coming from the roots or the storytelling that has been passed on generation to generation and then there is uh, a western kind of a in, kind of an influence which is slowly coming into uh, the younger audience which mm-hmm. is the halloween thing right um uh, like in gazebad in uh, one of the one of my friends lives in a society and uh, uh, on halloween uh he had a visitor who who was a small kid who was asking for halloween candy so in in a city like gazebad i can never imagine such a thing happening like hum jab college mein bhi hote the tab tak aisa kuch bhi nahi tha halloween ka koi influence nahi tha dur dur tak but it is stole, slowly coming and coming so the western influence and the the craziness for horror or bhoots or chudels i think they are growing and mm-hmm. they are growing at a massive rate sure and uh, so the horror industry in general is going to grow uh, and horror content is is going to be booming right uh, right now we are only into the digital mediums but we want to go offline as well uh, we want to do on ground events uh, in uh, march i happened to uh, visit disneyland paris right. and that taught me so much like it opened my eyes to exploring th- so many possibilities like just ex- just imagine a conjuring haunted house tour that you would ideally like to want to go right just imagine crazy horror rides where uh uh the there are some interactive properties which are uh, scaring the hell out of you right so one would really want to experience all of that so a lot of on ground thing is going to happen like mm-hmm. lots of horror meetups horror storytelling and all is going to happen so uh building the digital community that's for sure uh and extending it to the offline part of things is what we are planning to do as uh, as khuni monday as the next steps right. so yes uh, you can you can say that this we we are going to plan something next uh 5 to 10 years down the line maybe uh at a geo square garden at a geo square garden wherein there are thousands of people attending the khuni monday con so, so that it. that's that's something that Love uh, we really want to do now i think not just horror and which i i completely agree i think the market for horror is is growing right um and not and different types of horror right. um but i think the market for fandom is also growing massively right whether it's cosplay whether right. it's people buying stuff whether they're whether it's people going out and looking for experiences that absolutely validates their fandom right i think um that's definitely definitely on the god khuni con is something that you must do you right. must just <laughs> must do not just for the pun because khuni con is just a really cool interesting pun but exactly for the factors right. that we just discussed right bringing people together around something that they enjoy that they love uh is just a great way of getting more people to come in and do that same thing right i think there's um there's a lot to do there my last question yeah more or less i will i will do a small rapid fire after but my last okay. real, like serious <laughs> question right yeah um something that i love asking creators yeah. because everyone has such different experiences they share very different learnings but if i were to ask you three tips for content creators right one maybe for as a writer mm-hmm. uh one as a uh, as a generally creative person putting things together and one as a creative entrepreneur very specific question yeah very specific let yeah. let me just take time to answer the was uh so as a writer i feel uh uh you you should first write what you like sure if you are not convinced then i i don't know if anybody else would be convinced sure. so write what you like what you are passionate and about and what if it's not good it's okay it's right. okay you will learn that you're not a good writer perhaps sure sure or you you will tend practice to improve and, yeah, yeah practice and improve sure but if you don't like it in, and you are writing it for some some other person altogether for, and thinking about them while writing it i i and that's that's your first time i don't think it'll work that well sure write for yourself first um uh, as very nasiruddin shah from zindagi na milegi dobara like khud ke liye kya likh khud ke liye kya likh bilkul 
Right. Right. Now as a like a fountain head of creative ideas and and as a creative person in in general, someone who's a content creator on multiple platforms, what's your advice? I I don't know if I'm a fountain head or not, but I, yeah, I'm going to call you that. <laughs> I said it on this podcast. It must be true. Ah. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, consistency sure. is the is the key. Sure. Uh, anywhere that you are going or anything that you are doing, uh, uh, consistency is something that uh, you have to have uh, to keep on exploring and keep on doing some stuff that one day will will probably get viral or or just blow. Mm. So so consistency is is something that you have to have to have. Great. Advice. And uh, you. So it's it's like Kuni Monday. So we've been doing uh, uh, horror stories every Monday for the last three and a half years. Right. So, so uh, and out of those three and a half years, uh, two and a half years were side hustle as a job. Right. So, along along with the job. So, so yeah, you have to be have to be consistent. Absolutely, I believe in that. I know Saurabh, my producer, believes in that even more. <laughs> um, so congratulations for completing 125 episodes, man. That's crazy. We, are, are we at 125? Is that very? Oh, we're at 125 episodes. Wow. Amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And as a creative entrepreneur, creatorpreneur, as we said on episode five of this podcast, uh, where we talked to Ranveer Alabadia and Akasha, you should go check out that episode. But. <laughs> <laughs> No, as a creator, Pranav, what what's your advice to to other people who are looking at becoming both storytellers and story sellers? What's your advice? I guess uh, uh, be very uh, open to the process of uh, uh, learning new things, learning the business part of things. Mm-hmm. Don't shy away from uh, uh, crunching numbers. So so that's something that uh, creators usually do. That this is something that we don't understand and just back off. So so don't ever do that sure. because there is a lot of learning in that and uh, just a quick example so when we started out Kuni Monday uh, audio uh, content licensing was at the back of my head Right. so every time I'm framing the uh, story I just listen to it and, and see if it is working just for the audio part of it or not right. and that's why it helped in licensing sure. it further as well so sure. think of different avenues learn about again learn about the different avenues learn about the different processes I know there is very less information available but but uh, search I, I guess uh, shows like these will really help you so keep uh, listen to all the 125 episodes that <laughs> all of them there's a test at the end okay all of them <laughs> So, so something like this uh, will will really really help them. Awesome, just fantastic advice uh, on all three counts. Thank you for sharing. Before we let you go, we will do um, something that we used to do very often at the beginning of uh, at the first few episodes of this show, which is which was like a rapid fire section. Wow, um, I am going to get a hamper as well. You'll get my empty <laughs> coffee mug if you like, but I'll I'll buy you a beer after. Maybe maybe that will work. Um, horror creators that you look up to. Wow. Ah, uh, tough question. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, not any in particular. Right. Not any in particular. I just look out for good horror stories coming from people like you and me. Got it. So, no real North Star saying, hey, this is the kind of content you're discovering it on your way and setting your own rules up. Yeah. Um, as you go along. Fantastic. Um, a creator whose work ethic you admire, mm. and I'm sure you've you've worked in 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 OTT, you've worked in on the creator side now, so it could be anywhere. I think uh, uh, a prime example would be uh, Bhuvan Bam, right? And uh, how he has grown and how his journey has been has been absolutely terrific, and what he's doing right now is uh, next level. So okay. so how he has progressed, I I really admire that. Love it. And last question is. What is the difference between how you create for your YouTube channel versus for the podcast? Like, how do you how do you balance the two? Is there is there a difference, or or do you just look at it entirely similarly? So, like I said, uh, uh, I've always had a audio first approach when it comes to Khuni Monday videos as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, not a lot of difference when it comes to the Spotify podcast because um, in audio, I think. The the feel is the feel is very important, but right. yeah, on the Spotify side, we tend to uh, up the SFX or the music part a bit in terms of the 
of creating the mahal like people say so so all of that is love there it. love it fantastic that those are my questions thank you so much dilay for thank you so much vineet for having me here uh, it has been a pleasure and uh, i'm so glad i'm so glad we did this uh, that's it on this episode of storytellers and story sellers you were listening to me talk to dilay agarwal from the mad virus from khuni monday go follow khuni monday go check out the podcast don't follow khuni monday go check out the podcast <laughs> i'm joking